Okay, so we have made it to Button Willow Raceway here in Southern California. Interestingly, the track is backwards. I've never been out here with the course going that way. I can't imagine what that's like. But also, we have tons of other Shelbys out here with us. So it's just gonna be so much fun. Let's go ahead and check out some of them on track right now. By far one of the loudest cars out here, I have to say. Um, the track pack, it just seems like the power with it. And then finally you can hear the whine when it comes to the 500s. Inside the car, you, you like never hear it. There we have it, I think Z06 Jason track pack. I think over there is Travis with his Civic Type R. Travis, how you doing, man? Good to oh, see hey, you out here? here. You didn't bring the NSX, huh? Uh, no, Type R today. Type R, so you, you just got this, right? Uh, yeah, about uh, two months ago. Two. Um, three track days since. And yeah? <laughs> it's a beast, it's been handling It's been handling really well. Yeah, how do you like this motor compared to your NSX motor? Both are turbo, right? It's not as much power, but it works pretty good. Um, it does have the lag because it's turbo, so it takes a, okay. while, to, it takes a while to turn on. But, but at least going. you got the manual, right? The stick yeah. shift? Oh my gosh, I just put these on, wait. Yeah, the I tires just... are, you're getting toast on the edges. Look at that, it's peeling off. What are you yeah, doing, man? You're driving it's, hard. <laughs> it's pretty hard. I think I'm running at 34 right now. Really? Yeah, I wonder if that's gonna get any worse. You gotta be careful though, cause back home it's a few hundred mile drive, right? Uh, yeah, up back it's, north. It's about a four hour drive. A four hour drive. drive, oh my gosh. You know what though? Are you going out again? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, are you in, so you're in yellow, right? It's the yeah, same group as us. Group, so we'll make sure to get side by side, cause I look forward to seeing this after. This is such a cool car. It looks fun as well. Anyway, so I'll catch up with you, sure. man. Well, here we have it. We have Mustang Alley right here. Tons of Shelbys, right? In front of us, we have a Shelby GT350R turned into almost a GT4 race car with a gigantic wing in the back. Plus, with all those adjustments, I can't imagine the downforce this is producing, right? Then down here, I'm not sure exactly what kind of wheels these are. They could be forged line, maybe? But it's Eagle F1s. And wow, this thing, a total track car right here. This, this is what I like to see. This, this is so awesome. Plus in the front, we have these gigantic dive planes, a way more aggressive front splitter. This, this is really cool to see. Anyways though, right behind that, we have Joe Gatt's carbon fiber track pack. But you may notice something really cool about it. That is the color. So this car is actually for performance blue, but he took it to the wrap shop and got a stealth expo put on and it makes the car give like a, a matte appearance. Check that out. I've never seen any other GT500 look like this. And coming down here, he's using his carbon fiber wheels, which is exactly what I like to see. These are, it's made for the car. Leave it on, please, I'm begging you. So um, he's using a lot of the car, which is awesome to see. But a very interesting thing about the GT500 500s cup twos is that when you come this way you can see these indentations on the tire so one sees get completely flat i'll zoom in for you right here so one sees holes flatten out that means you need new tires so if you see your tire like this with the tread pattern really gone don't worry you still have a lot of life left at least that's what it seems so far so you can continue tracking the car which, which is exactly what, what i want to see because this being a bit on the heavier side i want to make sure i can take it to multiple track days so that it doesn't get too expensive like if, if the tires been out in one or two track day weekends then my brain would explode he wants to pay for cup twos that often right and then coming this way he has something that so many gt500 track pack owners are probably looking for that is the gt4 mounts for the gt4 rear wing now if you if you watch my laguna seca track video with the uh, ca corvette you would notice that there was a yellow gt4 mustang there and it had these same exact arms for the wing so with these arms it raised is a wing up quite drastically then also you can change the uh, the angle of attack with it so that you can get maximum downforce ideally what this is going to do is that it gets the wing up in the cleaner air so that it gets more downforce for the vehicle anyways i think it's time for us to go out let's get back in the r and uh see how it handles before we take it out i gotta go over the current condition of the r so since we haven't tracked it in such a long time it's not really uh set up very well for today um the tires for example i gotta show you how they look completely flat 
bald on the entire outside, I think, and all the way into, into the middle. So when it comes to going on track today, I'm not gonna push it hard because I gotta still drive back four hours south. <laughs> so I wanna be safe about this, but also have fun. So we're gonna make do with what we have here. And also I need um, new brakes as well. Also, with the tires like this, our braking distance is not gonna be as good as usual. So just, I gotta really take it easy today and not push the car too hard, but at the same time have fun. So let's go out there and just get used to the car again, see how it handles, because honestly, we've been driving the 2020 GT500 so much that I think we forgot what this car is truly like on track. Right now we're in track mode. I'm really excited about this. This car is so much fun on track than having the 2020 GT500. That's a completely different animal. It weighs a lot more, yes, but it's got way more horsepower. So this is really the 500, but cut the weight and power and then get a more GT3-like experience. Let's head out and see how the car does. 100 degrees right now, that's crazy. So no one's getting off the track. They keep going for lap after lap. There's been a checkered flag for three for three laps now, and we're still waiting, and, and they keep going lap after lap. I don't think they know what a checkered flag means. They're still going. Why would they pit in? <laughs> it's four laps. Four laps now. That was crazy. <laughs> okay, go. Oh, thank you. so easily <laughs> tires are cold there's a sea i'm gonna let the sea go right past me i think it look really cool um i haven't seen a uh, been behind a sea before on track bingo, bingo. driving this car 
with uh, uh, really, really bald tires. Definitely needs new brakes. I, I, th I think overall, this car, what it needs right now, I need to, I think I might have some air in the brake fluid lines because it's not stopping very well. Um, other than that though, new tires, this, these are like two year old tires. So it needs new tires and that's about it. And it'll be a great track car. The vibe of the high revviness and also the downforce in the rear, it feels hooked up this car. To give you an idea of how bad my tires are, so this is how it looks and on some areas it's like cording almost. Next time I'll have to run it um, hard, actually hard, with uh, the car in proper track condition and I want to see what it can do because you just that, that driving was so much fun. Then here we have a Torch Red C8. We have Christopher, the owner, right here. How you doing, man? What's up, brother? How, you How doing? do you like it? Man, it's phenomenal. I drive Lamborghinis, and it almost makes me feel like I got ripped off. Really? Lamborghini. <laughs> it's, it's so planted that it's very identical. Obviously, the motor's a little bit different. Power's a little bit different. Yeah, oh yeah, man, yeah. The sophistication is there. Well, well, what kind of Lamborghini did you have? LP640. Okay, so that's V12, right? Yeah, V12. I, I did a rear-wheel drive conversion. Oh, too, that's like got to be one. so cool. You know yeah. that? Oh my gosh. Yeah. How does? How do you like the um, the pushrod Chevy V8 compared to it? It's it flicks real quick. The the, the torque with it, it yeah, just kind of. It, it engages real quick. <laughs> it revs real quick. Everything's super light. Yeah. It reminds me a lot of that. I drive rotaries too, so. It's very similar. It's like a very fast revving engine. That's really cool. So how do you like it out here though? Have you been out here with this car before? This is my first time on this track. This is, I've only had about 200 miles in this car. Really? I so just, you're already tracking it? Yeah, I just got it. I was going to track it and then my hood blew open on me. Oh no, so it really? it for about four weeks. But now I got it back last Friday, luckily. So 200 miles track. Hey, uh, that is so cool seeing you, you track. Are you are you using the, uh, the track alignment, by the way? No, it's just Which, factory settings right now. Huh, okay. Uh, 51 package. I'm just trying to get a baseline. You can see the tire wear. Oh yeah. All the way to the edge. So are you feeling any of the, the understeer that people talk about with the CA Corvette on I track? I feel it a lot, um, especially when I just started, like my first couple sessions. You really have to wait until the front end is compressed. And okay. And you can turn in. It grips a lot better and then as it heats up, it gets a little bit tricky, but it's manageable now. That's a good visualization to show without camber settings, right? <laughs> Already cording with it. So that's probably why you're understeering out there. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be safe going back home. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta drive slow now. Yeah, man, seeing you out on track, it seemed like you're really up pushing the car really hard. It looks so awesome in the corners. The thing just, it hugs the road. It just squats down. It's one of those things. It's incredible watching. Are you ever gonna change up the tires, you think, like our compounds for track days and I so forth? I definitely will. Uh, I just, like I said, I just wanna get my baseline. Yeah, today. yeah, it's a great idea. I don't wanna improve because my tire compound improved. So I was seeing consistently better and better times each, each time I went out. That's awesome. And, uh, next time, yeah, I will change out the R compounds and hopefully we'll go on the track. Yeah, we'll have together. to link up together, yeah, bring yeah, the both Torch Red C8s. C8s. Yeah, yeah, go. definitely. But hey, man, really cool seeing you track this car. Right, I, I don't brother. see many C8s at the track yeah. and seeing another one, especially the same color. <laughs> it's so awesome. But yeah, there we'll go. definitely uh, go like Laguna Seca. That'll yeah. be a lot of fun. I'm down, man. Yeah. Whatever, just hit me up. Okay. Travis, what did you do, man? <laughs> what did you just do to your poor tire car? This is brand new, right? This is two months old. Yeah, two months old tires. So you said on the inside, it kind of came apart. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, I had to drive off the track, so that, yeah. added, that added a lot of, uh, looks worse than happened. How are you gonna get yeah, home now? Popped. Oh, Honda. They're gonna Honda? Yeah, they're gonna they are? put a tire on. So. And you're using this car, which is so cool to see. It's yeah. funny, you go from the NSX, now you're pushing your car so much at the racetrack. Yeah, I'm literally pushing the you're, car. <laughs> <laughs> good work, good work. Yeah. Poor Travis, his uh, car is now being trailered away, but Honda's being really cool about it, which is nice to see. But turning, turning around, we've got all of the other uh, Shelby's lined up for a cool shot. Keep going this way. You've got one of everything, right? And then right down here, we have two carbon fiber track pack GT500s. This one is in Kona blue. That one is in for performance blue. So two different shades of blue. From this angle right here, you can really see the difference between the normal stock GT4 rear wing for the GT500 and then, then the raised GT4 wing with the actual GT4 arms for the wing itself. So uh, that that is really interesting seeing this side by side with a completely stock GT500. What do you think? Which design do you like better? The normal ride height for the wing or the raised height for this wing right here with the actual GT4 adjustment arms. How long have you had it? Uh, really? Yeah, this is 
like any stock CP3, it's yeah. uh, nine days different. Yeah, wait. Plus a PDK with this thing. <laughs> do you yep. ship manually or do you leave it in auto? Manually. Okay. Yeah, I had a, a GT500 with a dual clutch. It, it works actually really well. Even in auto, you can leave it in auto in. Yeah. It's, uh, it's fun. It really is fun. The speed with, the, with these kind of transmissions, though, they're like next level in comparison. Like if you go to a, a manual car and you compare it, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm thinking that long to shift compared to this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. again. I'm going to go down to 500 so oh. Well, we have just left the event. It was so much fun hanging out with all the Shelby owners out here today. Not just them, also the C8 Corvette owner and Travis, the NSX owner, who brought out his Civic Type R, which he, uh, he drove really hard today. Next thing you know, his uh, tire is gone. Anyways, though, good thing I didn't really push the car because if I did, I may have been in the same boat as him, especially because these are carbon fiber wheels, right? However, I have to say, I am really impressed with this car. I haven't driven it in such a long time on track that I really forgot what it was like and the balance of it. It is hooked up and you can feel the rear end downforce. You can feel how much grip it has, which is something that feels way more confidence inspiring than the base model GT500 I had. Definitely, without a doubt, I can track this car faster on this racetrack than compared to my base model GT500. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the performance of the GT350R today with the tires being so worn out and us needing new brakes. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out. Also, subscribe for much more great Shelby videos coming your way. Thanks for watching again. I'll see all of you in the next episode.